foxes! If you already know who I am, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, welcome to my channel. I am very happy that you found me. And I kind of want to tell you what I want to do now. I had a little poll on Twitter on what exactly, on which time I should do it to communicate with these spirits in this doll. And I also maybe want to talk about the experiences I had until now. Some stuff already happened. It's unexplainable. I'm very sure that it has something to do with this little girl. I don't think it's a ghost attached to her. I think it's a spirit. And this spirit kind of decides to stick with her. Those paranormal things aren't happening 24-7. It's just a guess. But I will ask her when I try to communicate with her. I also feel like it's a female spirit. What is pretty common for spirits residing inside a doll. So I have my pendulum. I have bought an app. It was really cheap. So it didn't hurt me, it was a few cents. And people were saying that it's a great app. It is just a EVP, so I will record voice. And you can kind of switch in the settings of this app. So I'm excited to try it out. This is my old phone. I'm recording with my new phone. So maybe you will see a difference in the quality of the video. But it should be better. So that's the little poll I tweeted out. And already six people answered for the same thing. They want me to communicate with the spirit during the witch hour, the witching hour, 3 a.m. until 4 a.m. And the app I've bought is the Ghost Hunter Tools from Pumpkindle. As for the Portal app, it's an app that Half Paranormal recommends. I trust Half Paranormal. He's the very best spirit communicator. And he also created his own spirit box. Pretty damn cool. <laughs> I want to. I want to make my own spirit box as well. <laughs> it looks like that. It's, it has a blue picture of a spirit box, I guess. And I've heard that it's supposed to give spirits a voice. Spirits don't have a brain. They are not communicating with words. They don't have words. They just communicate with pure consciousness, pure energy. They are even creating with thoughts only. If they want to have a flower in front of them, they are going to think about the flower in front of them and they create the flower in front of them. And the portal app is something that gives spirit a voice. Those beings that don't have a voice. The portal app itself just has some sentences that are backwards and the spirits are using those backwards sentences to form words, to communicate with you. And that is also how spirit boxes work. They just form words out of radio stations. And maybe you know already, but spirits are pure energy. So it's easier for them to communicate with us with technology, also phones. So you don't even have to have a specific spirit box. Spirits can also communicate with you with your phone, with apps. That doesn't mean that every app <laughs> is not a fraud. There are some apps that just want to have your money and there are just some apps that are just a joke. Like they randomly tell you sentences. Because of those things, other stuff, other apps that really work look very bad. But I swear to you that there are some applications that really, really work. I mean, why, why not? It's the same as a spirit box. These spirits are using technology to communicate with you. Why wouldn't a 
and mobile app work. So this is why I have the Polo app. It's free in the App Store. I don't think it was always free, but right now it is free, so why not? Let's just try it out. And I trust Half Paranormal. If he says it works, I think it works. I believe him. I also had a poll on Twitter where I ask you guys about the Necrophonic app. It's an app that just has really, really small snippets of a sentence and vowels. And it's also an app Half Paranormal says works. But this app is not for free. This app costs 9.99 euros, but I don't know what it is in dollar. But now I have the Polo app. It's just, it's, it's the same, just with backwards sentences. In this part of the video, I will just talk about things that already happened since she's sitting here. One thing is that my Google Home is talking with no one inside the room. Last time I was sitting inside the office, behind the wall, I don't know what she picked up, what she could have picked up, but I sometimes think that Google Home is speaking with ghosts. <laughs> Seriously. She suddenly started speaking and she said Sitzplatz aus. It's a German dog command. I don't know why she said that. It literally translates to Sitz is sit, Platz, what means lay, lay down, the command to lay down for a dog, and aus, what means drop, stop. If you want to command your dog to shut the frick up. <laughs> I'm sorry. She just said that out of nowhere. And I tried to say anything to get her to say the same thing again, but she just didn't. I tried it with woof woof, wow. I really don't know what triggered that in a Google Home. I really have no idea. The second thing is that I see a person out of the corner of my eye or sometimes even, I don't know what it is, in the corner of my roof, just clinging on the roof in the corner. I've never, I've never seen a spirit in the corner just sticking in the corner of but I just see it in the corner of my eye. At this point, I have to say that it's not the first time there are some shadow people I always see or sometimes see. And my cat, one of my cats, actually loves to sit in the corner where I always see those shadow people. And I don't even know why she likes that. But I've also heard that cats love negative energy. But I don't think that shadow people are negative. It's so confusing to me. The third thing is that you see how she sits here, but she also sometimes sits like that, face to the window, as if she wants to look outside. And again, I have two cats and they could shift her, but there is also some other stuff standing here and also here. And my cats never go on the sofa. I don't think that the cats were involved in that. The third thing is, you see that little bag she has here? And in the video where I introduced you to her, I showed you what is inside the bag. It's that little pink ball. And usually I put this ball, take her hand and just lay it on her lap and put the ball inside her hand and just put the bag here, like that. And suddenly the ball was inside the bag. I didn't put it in there. No one was in this room. Don't tell me that my cats can just take this ball, put it inside this bag and just put it here and My, my cats love to destroy things, but not to clean things up. The fourth thing is that she loves to mess with electricity, with technology. My desktop on my PC is 
very much effed up right now since she's here. Also getting Skype calls with no one there to call. She's really just messing with technology, electricity, that stuff. She loves to do that. She's a troll. I think she's a little mischievous girl. Maybe she's a young girl spirit. So that was it. That is what she does. And again, she is not the first spirit residing in this apartment. I really take good care of the energy in this apartment, that the energy stays high and that nothing evil comes in here. But I can definitely tell you that she is not the only one in here. Those were the new things that are happening since she's sitting here. And in the second part or in a part 2 video, depends on how long this video takes, I will use the EVP app, use the portal app and I will use my amethyst pendulum. Whee! It's beautiful. So I'm excited to try this out but also very very nervous because I didn't contact a spirit inside my apartment. I didn't do that at all until now. Before I start contacting spirits and opening up a portal for everything, I will ask my angels, my spirit guides, to keep me safe, to keep the apartment safe. And of course, as soon as I try to communicate with anything in the spirit realm, a portal opens up and I can't really choose what comes through out of the portal. I will want to communicate with her, but it could be that something else entirely comes through and I can't do anything about that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Talk to me in the comments down below. How do you like the quality of this video and how do you like the audio of this video? Because I am using my new phone right now. How do you like it? Do you love it? Was it better before? You can tell me. <laughs> I'm not bothered. I would also love it if you could join this kind, lovely family and just subscribe to the channel. Also, please hit the bell notification icon down below so that you never miss a single video of mine. In the next part, I am going to communicate with the spirit of this girl behind me. Until next time, I love you all very much and I am very grateful for every one of you. Goodbye. Goodbye.